Mi gente, how's everyone doing today? I am Roberto Ruiz, a.k.a. Don Sicario. Thank you for taking the time out to listen and to come vibe. I got a quick, quick video on NYY News, news report. It's more of a complaint rather than news, but I want to talk about the state of the Yankees right now and the brass. I know we've been putting our hate towards Brian Cashman for building this team the way he has. We, we're seeing it first person of how badly constructed this, this team is. I've been, you have guys heard my videos. I have my disdain towards um, Brian Cashman. I mean, it's palpable. You guys, you guys know it, how much I don't like Brian Cashman. But I want to, I want to kind of direct this hate towards Hal Steinbrenner for a little bit. Because at what point does Hal start? at what point do we give him some heat? Yeah, like I've said before, he provides Brian Cashman with everything that Brian Cashman needs. But it seems like he's not providing him with a little bit of what his father would have provided, and that's pressure. When is House when is House Steinbrenner, Steinbrenner gonna gonna tell Cashman, hey, I've been providing you with enough funds. I've been giving you the longest leash. You know, your job security is safe. But when is he going to get on him? Give him some pressure. Like, why is this team the way it is? Why, why do we have so many issues right now? Why are there so many holes? Why are we stuck with this roster the way it is? So badly constructed. Anybody that's been watching the, the Yankees the past few years know what I'm talking about. So guess what? I, I, I'm going to lay off a Cashman for a while because it, it's kind of like you have that one bad kid that's a terrible little menace. After, some, after a while, you're going to have to start kind of questioning the parenting, right? Not just the kid because the kid is being a kid. He's doing what he's allowed to do. You got to kind of uh, adjust uh, uh, you got to speak to the parent about what the, the kid is doing. So at this point, how is the, how Steinbrenner's the parent? Why are you letting Brian Cashman do deal the way he has been dealing? What, does he have some photos of you? Some inappropriate photos of you or something during the college days? Or, or what's the deal? Why is, Haas, why is Hal Steinbrenner so quick to just let Brian Cashman run this team the way he has? Is Hal Steinbrenner not really paying attention? Is how is how Steinbrenner not paying as much attention as he should be, or are the nerds just telling him, "Yeah, these these numbers are good, the war is good, this player is going to be good," and uh, I mean the results, right? The results have been in. These guys are billionaires. They're all about the cap table, right? They're just trying to see the results. The results haven't been good. I mean, of course they're making a lot of money. Shit, they're making more money than they ever have been. So maybe that's the only thing I could kind of think of of why Hal Steinbrenner is not really complaining as much. I mean, shit, he even gave him a four, another, he renewed his contract for another four more years because whatever Cashman is doing, it, the, 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 the organization's making money. So the question is, do we still have the championships or bust mentality in this, in this Yankees brass? I don't think they do because the process, they keep selling us. That's just something to kind of keep us keep us at ease, right? Well, it's a process. You guys just got to wait. We've been waiting for a long time. 2014, I felt like was it, felt, it was the worst, right? But going into 2015 and the way we seen Gary Sanchez and and the and the the new promise, the new process, right, of the baby bombers, we kind of had a little bit of hope. 2016, the way we seen Gary Sanchez come out, and the way in 2017, how close we got to making it to the World Series, it took a cheating Astros team, a really good, a really good Astros team. It took them cheating. One game away, it took us away from making it to the World Series. And ever since then, it's been downhill. And the team has, I mean, the, a lot of the moves are questionable. But at what point do we start blaming Hal Steinbrenner for letting Cashman deal the way he has? It's just a thought. 
it's just a it's just to kind of switch things up a bit because Brian Cashman, I've given him a lot of heat. We've all given him a lot of heat. And we've let Hal Steinbrenner kind of get away with everything because he's been providing Brian Cashman with the funds and whatnot. But he is the owner of the team, part owner. He is the voice. He should be able to he if he wanted to, he could fire Brian Cashman. We got Simeon, we got um Mano, uh, what's his face? Like we have they brought in some good GMs. Why is Brian Cashman still working here? Look at the state of the Yankees right now. All I'm saying is I feel like we need to kind of see things in a different in a different view right now. So how Steinbrenner, you're on the clock, my guy. You you need to you need to do something. The same way you came in and rescued the season by by dealing with Judge directly, because Brian Cashman and Aaron Judge don't get along. Because in my opinion, Brian Cashman tried to trade Aaron Judge to the Anaheim Angels. Yes, he tried to change. He tried to trade Judge there. Ain't nobody could tell me otherwise. And Harold Reynolds talking about he heard Judge was going to the Angels. The deal was all but done. I don't care what they say. I don't care how they try to debunk that. Harold Reynolds was a respectable person in MOB and in sports. He wouldn't just say something like that for no reason. So in my opinion, Aaron Judge hates Cashman because Cashman tried to trade him when the negotiations went south. How time runner, take over. Be your father. Grow some balls. Do something. Yankee fans are upset. Yo, if this if this year, if the Yankees don't make it to the World Series, if they if they don't the way it looks now, it doesn't even look like they will make it to the playoffs. I'm hoping I'm gonna root for this team regardless, but us fans are the ones that make all of this happen. All of this is possible because of us. And the fans are crying. They're out there crying. How Stamper needs to start listening. He needs to pull an Uncle Stevie, Steve Cohen. And he needs to be aware of what the fans want. So all I'm saying, leave a like, subscribe on the video, tell us your opinions. Because remember, your opinions matter. Don't let none of these cornballs tell you that your opinions don't matter. Follow me on Twitter, at Don Sicario one Go on Twitter, at NYY News. Hit up the shop. Gift yourself. Treat yourself. At the end of the day, remember, folks, hold it down.